Hello everyone, welcome back to Night Ghost 49. We are playing Banished in Toolsville with the Mega Mod. Um, and it looks like... Are we on Are we on the first season? Oh my gosh. The first season we're going to get cotton. Let's unpause this bad boy. Okay. You know, I think this is kind of like... Is that a normal just stockpile, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Lots of logs. Holy cow. All right. What do we what do we have going on? Lots of this. I've got a decent amount of laborers. R really? You're gonna start now? You're gonna start. You've been quiet this entire time. Oh my gosh! I swear. You know, L Leroy the cat is one cat, and then there's Lennox, and they both feel the need to be a part of the entire show, series, everything that's going on here lately. Um, they're just insane. They're insane little cats, and that's just all there is to it. Do I have enough? Okay, good. Material warehouse. I should probably just have a few warehouses like right here. You know what? Let's build those so that I don't forget. And I'm going to quit spinning the screen so dang much because that's like vomit inducing. Um, there we go. Wood. Let's do a stone. Very nice. We will have an iron as well. And then probably, yep, yep, we'll do a fuel one. All right. And now I would like to look at where is... It's, it's all the way over here. Oh my gosh, it's so far to travel. Um, how many people? Okay, we've got it max at six. We're, we're just going to live with that, I think. I think we're going to live with the fact... Jeez, that... Um, the, yeah, the grapes are going, like, in here some, some dang where. Right? Where are the grapes? I don't even know anymore. They're going in here, and they're immediately being processed over here into wine. Oh my gosh. And uh, what, what are we doing? Now this, I, I'm leaving this open so I can check it and uh, buy more crap if I need to. But right now I don't, I don't really need to. I think what we should do is maybe start purchasing food out of this, this place right here. Purchases never when merchant arrives. Maybe we will. Let, let's just start with a thousand grains and fruit and vegetables. It's pretty... Um, it's pretty minor, honestly. It's uh, not a big purchase. Somebody was crushed by a rock. Oh, that's not nice. Uh, we've got double roads going on here. Really? I don't understand what's going on. So, you know what I'm going to do? Since I don't understand, I'm going to clear all the trees so I can see this, and then we're going to clean it up. Now, what I also will do is let's put in a small, just a small barn, right here. That way they can do a little food transfer if necessary. I will make a road... From here, oh, wait, which one are we doing? We're doing the country road, right? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. All right, let's let's do that. I'm worried about food. I'm worried about food. We're getting those two industries up and going. We're getting cotton, which we need to go and check right now. I think are these too big? No, they're not. And how much did we get? Eight hundred fifty-seven. Eight hundred and fifty-two. <laughs> what the heck? Holy cow, look at the laborers they dropped really fast. That's insane. Oh my gosh. All right, those are getting finished. So here's here's some of the... Uh, actually, this is the majority of the building jobs that are queued up right now. What I wanted to do is clean this up a little bit so I can see. And then maybe we can put some more homes in and things like that. So this small barn's doing its job. There's a little bit of grapes there, lots and lots of cotton. Do I have any grapes? Oh my gosh, I have so many grapes. It's just, it's just a beautiful thing. I don't think... Maybe they do! Do they drop immediately off here, even to the central market? That's insane if they do. Wow. Now, I am purchasing automatically for uh, the materials that we need here. I don't know if I need to adjust this at all. I feel the need to, like, look at it from time to time. I don't know. Oh, oh, we got this, this merchant coming in right over here. I've got almost 800 wine and a little bit left in the, in the actual pub. That's awesome. Now, pub meals are delicious, and they will uh, provide a bit of food, I believe, and some luxury resources. I don't know if I want to even dive into that right now. I'm just going to leave this on autopilot for the moment because I'd like to get, I'd like to make sure food's okay, and um, and that this industry, this weaving industry of into cloth and, and all that nonsense, actually gets up and rolling like it should. We are making a ridiculous amount of bread here, which I'd like to put a second person there, but I'm worried about the actual people. We have 69 children in school. 50 something, 53 children that are just little babies, not actually doing anything yet. Um, I think it would be nice 
if we made a school. We could do this and then we could do like some big old upgrades and make it a very large school. So let's do a school since we now have all of our storage back the way it should be, which is good. And let's queue up just, just to get all this stinking stuff out of the way. Let's go. Get out of here. All of this needs to go. Uh, we are going to have some hardwood starting coming through here very soon because the logs are doing their job and that's that's a good way to go. Um, we can clear this out here shortly, this stockpile, because it's going to start causing issues. We need to start using those. Um, in fact, let's just do it now. I, I don't even want to mess with it. Let's get back out of here. Okay, we need homes, we need food. This has been, this is a crazy little adventure, isn't it? Oh, we've got the little piggy pigs. I forgot that we've got pork over here. <gasps> And the, and the llamas. Do we still have crazy stuff going on when it comes to people working and doing their dang jobs? It's not so bad, right? That's not so bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, how about you? I think there's like only one of you. Oh, there's four. Never mind. We got four right there. I think, honestly, I could drop that down to two. Um, I had a massive influx of people we can adjust that okay so furniture is being made and probably stored right here now that stockpile could easily be replaced with a material stockpile so why don't we do that just to make sure things are nice and efficient um, and I think what I can do is make even more furniture over this way yeah there we go even more furniture now remember we got these little camps here of all these people there's so many people that could that could have kids and whatnot I think I'm low on food I never even checked. In fact, I didn't do any actual proper intro stuff. Hello, where am I? Um, welcome, everybody. We have 337 citizens, 121 families, only 105 homes. We are underproducing by 4,000 a year on food right now. We're doing, we're underproducing on tools, and we're underproducing on fuel, kind of. Actually, that might be inaccurate. But we're purchasing, we're purchasing a handful of things. So some of that's probably not too bad. So um, this is going to be important to actually buy. In fact, I think I'll tell this to get furniture and we will, let's just say 500 for now. And we'll trade the trade, or trade the trades? We'll trade the trades. Uh, we'll change this to 4,000 a piece, like 1,000 meat. And uh, we'll, we'll do this to feel a little bit better about life and make sure we're not gonna die and all that nonsense. Okay, cool. We have 25 laborers. Oh my gosh. Do you guys ever get like a crick in your neck? Ow, I've got a nasty one right now. It hurts like crazy. Oh, I just can't sit right. Anyway, um, I've got 800 something flour. How much corn do we have? If we sort this by name, it'll come up quicker, but like I can figure it out. There you go, 2,500. Um, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Now we've maxed on luxury resources. That is adorable. Yeah, let's add an extra zero in that bad boy. Look at the tavern, just chock full of wine. Yes, please, thank you. And we will upgrade this thing to the max for the farmer's cottage. So let's finish this off. Looks like I've got something that's being built that doesn't have what it needs to finish. It keeps staying there and I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe I could get more of these. Do I have peaches? Peaches would be good for um, ales and stuff like that, and just food. Sugar beets, chilies. I just don't know if I need this right now. I don't know. I say that every time, don't I? But it, it's true. I really don't know if I need it. Um, I think another bakery would, would serve as well. And probably just putting it in here somewhere would be the best. In fact, let's just do that. Let's just put a bakery right in here. Because I'm feeling like we need more food. And I don't want to mess that up. Um, bakery. Yes, it's this one. This is the one I like. There you go. Bakery right there. Fantastic. A little bit of chestnut, a little bit of pecans coming in here. Lots of corn. Lots of corn. That's awesome. Do we have this automatically picked up? We got the laborers doing their thing. Yes, there we go. Perfect, we do. All right. I've got 30 laborers. There's quite a bit. Um, are, we, are we just out of grapes? Oh my goodness. We are just out of grapes. Let's drop this down just by three. And we could do some more grape. Um, more more orchards more orchards I mean they are orchards but they're vineyards right we could do that a little bit more okay building supplies I think I'm fine on building supplies I think they just need to move it and they've got a little bit of stone to get in here I won't freak out about the college but I am freaking out about the fact that we are low on on actually having any darn kids um, all right let's talk food now I did mention before that I wanted to work 
this area, I think now is the time to actually jump into this and uh, see how efficient we can be. So why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and get the, the roads going out here, right? But let's double road it here. Okay, and then we'll just we'll just go straight out of this. I'm I'm not even gonna fret. We're just gonna do it this way. All right, and there we go. Double dock situation. And I'm only gonna do this many at a time so that we don't mess anybody up. We we all know how the pathing works. How it kind of goes weird and wonky, and uh, we don't want that to get messed up. We'll go ahead and get somebody working the farmers college there so that they're a little more efficient with this area. We've got plenty of people here. We should give them a school and not be weird about that. How are we doing on storage? Gosh, we're fine. We're doing so well. We're doing so well. Here's the thing. I, I don't want them to use grape for food, but at the same time, I'd rather my people not die. So, um, yeah. What are you doing? Are you buying what we need? I mean, should we just buy some some tools? Oh, we will buy some lamp oil. I do need lamp oil. They don't sell a whole lot at a time. Um, I guess we could get some stone tools, but stone tools are kind of garbage. No, I don't want to. Nah, I'm not doing that. Let's just sell the seeds. And do we want to overpurchase on this at all? Not really. Uh, overpaying by ten. Let's just let's just get a little bit more out of that. Perfect. Now get out of here. Perfect. Okay. There were bronze tools. Now that I just saw that. Whoops. Um, I think what I'll do is we'll just go out here and maybe we'll branch out and do a big T. Mm -hmm. And I'll put a few homes in. And then we will uh, we'll do some farming, some fish fishing as well, and uh, maybe I'll put in some of the scavengers too. Oh, I wanted to see this in case we got food. We did not get food, but that's okay. I'm not banking on this yet, but we didn't get any food, which kind of sucks. But that's all right. Let's go ahead and dismiss for now because I would like it to come in and get us a little bit of food. Um, I'm worried about that just a tiny tiny. Let's put in a few homes because I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to, you know, keep that aesthetic here. Uh, dock home. It's only taking logs, and we're doing really well on logs right now. Not, not amazing like we had been doing before. Well, actually, I think we were just catching up, weren't we? Because we were buying more now as well, which is good. Um, we could do reeds, and I don't think we have any chickens right now. We probably have feathers because of the hunters and the ducks. But we could do survival codes as well if we wanted to go into that realm. I don't really think we want to, but it is an option that's there. And uh, we, I don't know. We don't need to really exploit that. Considering we have cloth and wool going on right now, I don't necessarily think that we need to do that. So uh, maybe we won't explore that option too much. Okay, let's go out this way, right? And I like this because it makes it a little more formal. You know that it's it's an established path but i think from here we could probably get a little bit of food stuff going on i don't we don't have chicken eggs do we do i don't have chickens i just have like a lot of llamas uh, oh yeah here we go look uh let's make sure this is going somebody make some more bread that'll help but we don't have eggs do we do we even have chicken no we don't have chicken i don't even see it anywhere no all right Never mind. Do we have carbon tools? No, we don't. Okay. I know we bought those at one point. I didn't think we actually had any more. So the ratio is still kind of bad. We really need to fix that. Now, let's see. Um, driftwood scavenger. I guess we could do that for firewood. The driftwood scavenger just um, goes into the water and it just looks for driftwood. That's it. There's not much more to it. Let's just make it. I, I'm That's kind of new to me. Let's check out the chickens. How big is that radius? Okay, we need to go out maybe two more. And then I'd feel a lot better about the, uh, the fishery, the fishing dock or whatever. Okay, now, um, where are the scavengers? Water scavenger. Yes, all right. I don't think these are the most efficient things in the world. But you know what? They're good to have. You get a little bit of additional stuff. And that it'll work out. Okay, now we good to go on the fishery so let's put one right in here and then we can branch out and do some more elsewhere uh, you know once we feel like we need even more 
don't have anywhere for food to be stored immediately except for right there but i feel like that's close enough like going from here all the way to over there is probably not too bad um so we'll build this up and yeah yeah we'll build this up it'll be fine how are we doing are, are people getting there's six people in the school already that's pretty awesome wait really let's just put a zero in there <laughs> oh man we have plenty of material warehouses and things like that i'm kind of surprised none of this got used even though we had that stockpile right there. Is this just a normal stockpile? I think that's part of the problem. There's materials. Like, all of these are materials. Let's just kill this one. I really would like to use only the only the uh, specialized stockpiles if I can. I feel like because the computer will prioritize certain stockpiles over others. Okay, I see what's going on. We, we had an extra thing in here for, um, for that whole route we don't really need. So we can just remove that and we can have those going back and forth. So no food was purchased here yet. A little bit of furniture is getting made. We're maxed out on the wine. Um, let's see. We're at 870 on wine over there. Maybe maybe there's more in the... Oh gosh, the tavern. Not quite halfway full, but it looks like Harry's about 2,000, 2,000 or so. Yeah, that's probably about right. How are we on cotton? Because I could actually get people employed over here now. What, what the heck? These guys are just all over the place. This one's on automatic purchases, so really not that concerned. Um, if anything, we could probably buy some fire bundles, but I'm just not that worried about it. We could probably start making our own fire bundles. Cloth, 248. Corn, cotton is 4,000. <laughs> oh my gosh, the massive plantations are doing their job. Let's get two more people working that for now. We won't double those up yet. All right, water scavengers, one, two, three, there you go. Um, we don't want logs. Let's actually just get firewood. Just go straight to fuel. And then from here, I think we could have four working here. There we go. And we'll be getting even more food from that area as well. Holy crap, we're down to 7,000 something food. It's early summer though, so we don't have a harvest. Man, um, right. Food situation. Not looking the best. Ooh, we're actually getting a little bit of hardwood here. I'm thinking, should we should we go off of what we know? Should we get a couple gatherers or something? Actually, this place, oh, that would be perfect. <gasps> let's do this. Um, let's go ahead and make little walkways, little bridges, right? Right there. And then once those are built, we'll come over here and we'll clear out a bunch of stuff. I think we'll do another forester. And then we'll do gatherers, hunters. All that good stuff make it nice and strong back in this way okay i think i think that's a good plan yeah they're coming over here to start to build clearing out all this stuff nothing else to remove they've got a little logs a bit of stone to, to put in there they'll be fine in fact we could probably put a handful of homes we'll probably just put homes right in here to uh to work these so that we don't have to worry about going back and forth um in fact we'll just put a small barn there and then maybe what we can also do is do a log, you know, a wood wood storage. Oh, I keep calling it log storage. I think a couple more people working this would be really good. Because whenever it gets below 50%, actually below like 60, I don't feel comfortable with uh, how efficient it's being right now. Which reminds me, but you know, these really do need two because one can work, the other can go get materials and move things around. So let's do that. These guys, I'm seriously just not even concerned about because they're going to grab the food. They're going to grab grapes and, and do what they do. So, not that worried about it. In fact, I'm going to turn one of these off because we can use some of the grapes for food. And then these will, uh, I don't know, they'll, they'll do they'll do better. Okay, so we're already getting like 300-something fish from here. This dock fishery is going to be doing some good work. We should probably check the scavengers as well. But then once the, once the uh, bridges are complete, we can actually plan out some other stuff too see not not a ton of food i'm just i'm never really like massively impressed with this but um i don't know i, I could be proven wrong right i could be proven wrong looks like we're outnumbering children to to the kids in school but that's because we had a dip and then we're kind of recovering from that a little bit so it's a bit of a false positive um i like the normal forester except we can change the way it looks here we go and then i am going to go in here and let's get gatherers right let's let's do the hunter with the 
the nice uh, perch or whatever. And then we'll do this gatherer. I like that one as well. And then I think we'll plan out doing some homes out here. Um, little house. I like the little house. It's got like its own little fenced in area. Maybe they've got a horse where they go into town with. Um, let's do two little homes right there. And then maybe we'll do a couple over here as well. Farmhouse? Probably not. Probably not a farmhouse. Uh, small town home. Maybe just a couple little little houses. Right on either side. Yeah. They live here. They maintain the bridge and all that nonsense. It'll be good. They've got a barn here with, for some reason, llama meat and cotton. Oh, well, I guess technically that's kind of close. Maybe that wasn't the best move. We've got wood storage there as well. There's a lot being built over in that area. Did we get the same amount? About the same. So we're getting some steady influx of cotton. Hmm. A little parched there, sorry. Steady influx of cotton. That's helping out quite a bit. Let's look at some logistics real quick because I just added two people. Yeah, that was what I was, what I was worried about. You know, I've been shifting around a few jobs, and you gotta be you gotta be careful because uh, it doesn't always work out the way you want. And where are you guys living? Right there. Okay, so we need a few more jobs few more homes here so we can fulfill these jobs right yes all right look the food's looking good now that's, that's great so we're getting a couple more houses over there but I'd like to finish off a few more over this way which really means I need to be checking the material supplier so that I can buy um, the homewares but I, aren't we making them now chicken and beef cows chicken would be great chickens would be real good Actually, you know, we're just talking about the food situation being bad. Chicken, duck, uh, beef cows. We don't have any beef cows. Could we, how much could we purchase? And those seeds really do some good work. You know, they really do. Overpaying by 100. Uh, additional 60. Right. So, overpaying by four. How did I get that number so correct? Anyway, chickens and beef cows. Let's trade. Get them out of here. We're going to do this because we're still low on food. So we'll do chickens and beef cows over here. That's what we're going to do. All right. Let's go into transparent pastures. And why are you cold? There's plenty of fuel. I, I would Okay, maybe not plenty, but there's a lot. They've got the log thing here. Maybe this will be, um, this will be a big chicken operation. But you know what? There's chickens. And I think we'll do beef cows over here. We'll split this up. A little bit let's turn the camera um, I've got I've got that going on right there let's split this up and do uh, 19 by 20 is fine because I want to give the right room for the roads and whatnot so we don't want to mess that actually don't mess that up at all okay do we have a couple homes finishing here we do and we've got some hunters going on so let's get two people working there fantastic um, the forester is done I don't mind it being split like this to be completely honest so I think I'm going to leave that alone. I will have a manual clearing of the stone and iron here. Just a bit to help them out to get started. Those are homes. We do have the gatherer here that will be finished up here soon. We're already starting to get trampled down a little bit on food. Yeah, see, here's here's what we can do. We can buy, let's buy some more lamp oil. And what else? I was going to check and see if I had, if I'm already making the supplies that we need, right? That's what it was, 30. So, what? Like, yeah, I'll overpay by 10. Which means 4. Okay. There we go. Get out of here. Are we buying food? We bought a ridiculous amount of food. What? That's so good. Look, we just tapped the whole thing right there. Look at all that wine that we sold. We, we sold like 874. Or 884. Derp. Anyway, that's good. That's fantastic. We probably bought a ton, now that I think about it. Uh, small. Look at how stocked. We got donuts. Oh, my goodness. Donuts are delicious. All right, let's 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 turn this around a little bit so it's a little more familiar. Perfect. Okay. So chickens and beef cows. We really need to finish these up, guys, so they don't die over there in the trader. And we need to get a gatherer going over here, which is finished. Let's get two people working that. One, two. And that home is finished up. Fantastic. This one will be finished up as well. That is good. Um, we have 60 children, 53 people in school, 245 adults. Tools are looking okay. 
clothing's looking not half bad, even though we're selling a heck of a lot of it. Uh, you know, we're using more of it for industry than we probably are for clothing our people. But we're, we're going to try to fix that. We're going to try to fix that right here. Oh, that's linen and flax. That's why it's being weird. It's supposed to all be cotton. All right, there you go. Cotton. Do you think? Okay, this is almost cleared, and then they're going to start bringing logs. And I believe I have a ridiculous amount. Okay, that's not a ridiculous amount. I cleared a lot. I don't know where they went. But I like the wood storage here. I think it's going to do good things. And then we do have the barn that's already being used quite liberally. <laughs> liberally. Um, good old home star runner right there for you, ladies and gentlemen. And I really want to put more homes in, but I don't want to do it if we're going to just starve ourselves out immediately. It's spring and we're at 1300 Now, er, early summer, last year, we were at about 7,000 food. So we're getting close. We're starting to ebb away from it a little bit. Um, I think part of it had to do with, you know, a few scavengers right here that did okay. It's, it's food variety, for one thing. And you can actually make better foods with the stuff you get from there. 1,700 fish is nothing to scoff at. It, that's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. Charcoal right here. Do I need to up you? I guess I guess I could not really necessary. Okay, let's check and see how we're doing on flour and corn and stuff like that while the uh, while the branches are all being built. Bread's looking fantastic. Flour's actually starting to go down. And corn, corn's looking okay. That's before harvest. But all those are starting to go down a little bit. I probably want to go ahead and get some more corn production as well. And then we can put some windmills down in our little expanded, our little, this huge expanded area. Okay, let's get the chickens in here. Get one person to work that. 12 out of 43. We're going to have so many feathers, eggs, and chicken meat, and bone meal. It's just, it's just going to be laughably crazy. Oh my goodness. All right. Everything's removed here. Now we're waiting for the logs to be delivered, and we're going to get the beef cows in here. Uh, beef cows will give us leather and beef. Go figure. But they won't give us milk. Right, we won't be able to do cream or, or any of the dairy stuff that we would normally be able to, to do. The forester's doing well. Uh, I'm starting to plant a lot of these things. The gatherer, this will improve quite a bit, and it just got finished. So we're not seeing a whole lot. It's a little early in the season. But this hunter's been up for a little bit. And we got only about 200 duck meat. I was kind of... The venison does way better. Duck meat almost seems like an afterthought of like some extra food that you're getting. I don't know. We'll see. Um, grapes, beans, roots. Uh, what else do we? What else could we get? We could get some good stuff in here. Flax. I don't know. Blueberries would be good. And our temperature isn't too bad for blueberries. I guess that's the other thing too. You got to be careful. Um, sometimes what you buy because the temperature can affect that quite a bit. Beans. These are kind of cheap, right? And spinach. Can we afford that with just the, the wool coats? Actually, I don't think so. At least I'm overpaying. I'm paying more than I wanted to, honestly. Overpaying about 25. Um, there we go. So we just got beans and spinach. Spinach is delicious, by the way. Beans. I love me some beans, too. Let's be honest. I'm getting hungry. All right, uh, we are almost done. 90% complete on this pasture. Let's get the beef cows over here before they die. The guys over there at the trading post are just like, seriously, GTFO, get these cats. These cats, get the cats out of here. They're not very intelligent. They think they're cats. They think that the things that they have over there are kittens. Uh, they're not the brightest. All right, we've got the nice homes over here. I think we should put in a couple, couple of different style homes in this area. So, Colonial Large House. Oh, that's kind of nice. Small house. How many could I fit here? One. No, not two. Hmm. Nordic home. Little, little houses. Oh, these are good. Oh, there's like a first and second story to this. Oh, my gosh. We'll save those for the areas that are away from the big city, right? So let's do one large house here. Can I do another one there? I sure as heck can. Let's do another one. These guys are just going back and forth. Look at that. Oh, it's the vendors. I put two extra uh, market vendors here. Wow. 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 43 laborers? Jeez. Okay, let's get some more people working that. And then I think I'm going to put in a few more uh, agricultural areas over here too. 
But part of me is worried. I worry about doing too much agriculture and uh, not enough just steady supply of actual, you know, constant amount of food, like a, like a fishery or a gatherer's hut, you know, where you're always getting food in throughout the year. There's no big up or down. It kind of stabilizes your food a little bit more. Is this thing even doing anything? Like 16, okay, 1600's pretty good, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe I should jut another one out here, do another fishery. I don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't really thought through the whole darn thing. Well, you know what? Let's make a cut here in the video. Look, the beef cows have made it. I think we want to make a cut um, in here. I think we're doing okay with food. Um, in fact, why don't we why don't we check? I think we're overproducing. Production for food, we're barely overproducing, and we're purchasing a little bit. So we're fine. No crisis even, just the management and expansion. So thanks, everybody, for joining. I do appreciate it. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.